like a new tone pro line is. Yeah, that's one thing I always found interesting. I always thought that they were just new tone pro lines, but I'm like, no, they're Air Max. I was like, yeah. oh. And speaking of that, I got yeah. Fan Cave and uh, E Man Fan hey. here, hey. Mark Wilson and Emmanuel. And we're going to be, of course, going to Fanimation this weekend. Yeah. Oh yeah, so, just do zero to high? Yes, that's right, zero to high. Okay, let's see the in rush. Seven one was what it was up to. Now have you like have you ever like noticed like if there's like really a difference between like the ampage drawn with these and the, the new tone ones or is it basically the same thing? I think it's pretty much the same thing. Could it be interesting if they were actually different and such. Well, mm, I mean But I wonder if that's the case with like this this damp to Aluminum ones like this versus the. Oh no, that's a cast aluminum. No, no, cast aluminum, man. Yeah, and cast the aluminum. Line downstairs also cast aluminum. Yeah, I meant to say cast aluminum versus the stamped steel ones. Right. Like if there's a difference between those, ampage wise and such. Yeah, there might be. But do you have a stamped steel one or? I did have some, but you know. They oh, had, were those the ones that had the bad bearings in them that you yes. sold a while back? Oh, okay. Well, one of them did, and they some had bad capacitors. Some, I found yeah. a bubble and fried capacitor in them. Yeah, I remember, yeah, and one of them you like sold to Tommy a while back. Yeah, I have sold. Yeah, I was tempted to. Uh, yeah, me too. Like 10 bucks a piece, I remember that. Yeah, I was tempted, yeah. I was tempted, but I was just like, I didn't. Well, I just like didn't. Unless you know. got something, a gold line that you ain't gonna pass up. Yeah. That's a union, another union goal line. I know it just dry snag it. Yeah. You know that. Okay, let's see what's it drawing. Hold on, keep it there. Yep. I'm gonna do, okay, 6.6 six is what this is drawing. 0.66 amps. See how many watts, hold on. Mm -hmm. About 75 watts, I'll we'll call it. And a power factor of one. So let me, you know, check the airflow because I can actually really yeah. feel it down here, and I definitely feel like that's gold line as well. Yeah. The airflow is at least gold line. Maybe like not as strong from underneath, but spreading in terms right. of like spreading yeah, it out at least. Yeah, that's one thing. Even that new gold line, that modern gold line. Yeah. You'll feel it at a distance. Yeah. Like yeah, is this something I was I've... fooled by it when he first tested one of these gold lines out. He was fooled in his uh, mom's basement. Because oh, he's yeah. testing it up close, and he's like, these things suck. Like, he couldn't feel any air off it, but when he hung it at one of his churches, he was, like, feeling it all the way across the room. Yeah, that's the other thing. Like, I yeah. think it also depends, like, the they type of environment it's in. Way. Yeah. The it's current right. tip to yeah. it, yeah. That's right. So, we want to turn it off or spin down? Yeah. See what this one does, spin down. I know the tat was a forever one, being stamped steel on steel. Those yeah. are steel blades. And these are aluminum, I think, yes. right, blades? Yeah, they're aluminum. Keep the momentum going, you know, keep the... Uh... Yeah, that steel, those heavy steel blades, as you felt, on a stamped steel motor, that's a yeah. long spin down. Yeah. I'd love to find one that's, like, as an Air Master one. I mean, I know they're not hard to come across. It's... Oh, no. I mean, I have a new tone one already. Oh, I'm getting another one in animation from... Mark Walker, the one with the short down rod. Okay. And so I figured, hey, might as well get another one. I mean, it's not often people are willing to sell them, so I figured, hey, might as well. I mean, they're pretty, they're pretty, they're very common in our area without a question. It's just, yeah. I figured, hey, if there's one that's available, might as well. <laughs> Especially if I'm going to be at Fanimation to, to buy fans, it's like, hey, yeah, yeah. take advantage yeah, of that. Yeah. Yeah, these tend to have pretty good spin downs, I've noticed. Oh, yeah. And so I was like, they, it's very rare that I've ever seen one stop quick. I mean, it's one that, like, a child daycare. They used to have a 56-inch one and a 48-inch one. Now it only had a 56-inch one and a Hampton Bay one were two because the 48-inch one, I'm guessing, the capacitor fried or something like that. Hmm. Wait, they made these in 48-inch? I mean, the, the new tone ones, that is. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah. Right, right. You know, the like downstairs, the four blade. Yeah, I was yeah. talking about an Air Master like this. But oh, three no. Blades. Yeah. Yeah, I wish, but that'd be cool if they're... Well, they technically they did, but with like a three-bladed version one. Oh, yeah. The, the straight-bladed like one. six inch Yeah, like the there straight blade. There was one at that Waukesha laundromat. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, I remember that with the flat tip blades. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I saw a picture of that, yeah. But, um, like, they had... 
I was, I gotta say, even though I missed it, I kind of wish they didn't get rid of the pro, that little pro and that. Those one were twos from Hampton Bay. Those things are like on par with like K Casablanca air moving to, oh, with the Glossmore wind blades. With this, and they have like a one eighty eight motor. They like they outperform any spinner motor Hunter or like like any sp like spinner motor one eighty eight like normal blade of fan from like a showroom and such. So at least I got something that at least moved more air, but in terms of like durability, I don't know if it would last as long as the Pro line did for like over 20 something years. The only reason why that one that that place didn't, wasn't used for a while, the one were too, is because they lost the control. So they had to get a new one. They were stuck in the off position. But, but they have the other Pro one, and it's only just on and on and off switch. I'm guessing that was the same case with that, the other one. But I always found it interesting. It was like. Still, yeah. It was, I was just found interesting. The, both, both rooms were the same size, but one room had a 56 inch one, one had a 48 inch one. I just found it so yeah. bizarre. Those were the brown ones, right? Well, so though, there was an awesome that had two brown, like a brown one on each side. And in this childhood daycare place, had a white one in each size. Huh. And there's a lot of places I've noticed, like they kind of had like set up like that where they'll have like a smaller ones and big yeah, ones. My, um, yeah, place I used to work at the Freightliner dealership. Um, yeah, in, in, in the shop where they fixed the trucks, uh, right. four, yeah, four of them were four blade, uh, four of them were, th okay. on the other side, were three blade. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got Decade Box. All right, so. And do the same thing again, start with one. Oh, on there, yep. All right. Let's see where it starts. Two. Three. So I thought I'd, like, move a tiny yeah, bit. It's, yeah, it's struggling. Go four. Hold it. I think that's gonna go. That's gonna go. Yep. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. That's not gonna stall. <laughs> yeah. That's enough to make it go. Now, the one downstairs I have on a 6, 8, 14, 4 speed. So I think uh, if we. Where are you at? 4? Uh, go to 5. Yeah, so, yeah these fans, like AMS or Pro Lines, like, those things I always love seeing them on, like, a really slow, low speed. Yeah. There's a Napa auto store that has three of them in the front and three Pro Line threes in the back. Mm -hmm. And then they have another Pro Line one like in a room on the side. And they're all on a new tone solid state controllers. Okay. I want to mess with them so bad, but those guys did not. I had to sneak a video in the store without getting caught. Does it do? Oh. Yeah. They like those type of. I mentioned a lot of parts stores I make. I understand that they probably think someone might try to break in, steal car parts and stuff. I mean, but they're also right in front of a police station, too. So, I mean, the chances of that happening is, like, very minimal. Yep. So, yeah. Six. Oh, someone got hit in front of my car in front of the Wakefield police station. Scuffed up the whole back and the... Okay, the, yeah, it's six. Yep, it's six. Okay, so basically, um, this is the same low speed that you would get. So, I'm guessing yeah. the same control will could be used on this for a Yeah, place. so, like, the ones at that place, they even go slower than this on low. They go, like... Like... Go as if like they don't like even sort of like half of how fast uh, this is. Are they going. on a solid state? Yeah. Well, there's a low trim adjust. Yeah. Basically. Well, they're new tone solid state control, solid state controls too. So I'm thinking that might be it. Yeah. Well, even then, now there's actually what's called a. It's a very tiny dial that you need an eyeglass flathead screwdriver to right. operate. That you, first you turn the main one all the way down, and then you start operating that fine little one with the eyeglass screwdriver right so this is the perfect low right here six i go to seven basically you adjust it till you get a satisfying low speed so you want yeah. it to be so you probably make adjusted this so that way you can have an even slower on the controller that okay. and also make sure that it's not too low or it doesn't start up you know when if you were power were to come back on from being off like say i have it the low trim set just right for that one so right. just turn it on low and have it set to low and turn it on with the power strip just to turn them all on. Eight. Okay, so right now with eight, like the one downstairs has a good uh, medium low right here. This is your perfect. Yeah. Now, whatever happened to the other Air Master ones that were stamped steel that you had? Well, I, I think I, I know you sold most of them, or there was one that I parted out. Yeah. I was because they were just in rough shape. Yeah, that was the uh, 2015 uh, Fanimation show. Yes. I remember that. Yeah. Yep, go nine. Ten. Yeah, they were on different size down rods, right? Yeah. I remember those. Well, that's 
I'll probably rob one of those down rods, yeah. the shorter one for this one, just to hang it somewhere. I mean, it looks good here. Yeah. Yeah. And it's what's nice is like that's like that was like the type of downward that came from a factory. And usually, like if I install and dust it, I'm like I like to have them yeah. where they look like they haven't been modified at least. Well, this one it's not really modifying because you know it's. Well, I mean, like if you had to cut one type thing, at least it was oh. like it either came with the shorter one that because they usually come with either a long downward and a short one. Yeah. So it, at least it was like you're using either one of those two. Yeah. Whereas okay, the K to K's, people just chop them. Right. So basically, go, go back, back to one. one. And then hit the 10, yep. Quite with the K to K is down there, they just cut the down rods. They don't come okay. off like a shorter one. Yep. So in that case, it's different. All right. Move it up to 12. Yes, go to 12. Let's see what it's drawing. 13. Fourteen. Okay, well. 15? Uh, hold on, let me see some. I want to see if there's a difference between 14 and high. Because right now it's drawing pretty <clears throat> close to what it drew on high. Let's just see. Right. So this is. Yeah, it definitely draws a bit more of the high. And I'm not seeing as much of a difference. So weird. I mean, it's going a bit faster, I can de definitely. I can tell because like uh, yeah, it is actually. Cool. It's like the way you can you tell is like how by looking at the design of the rust on the bottom, see like it's moving. If you like see yeah. that pattern move around more and such. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what it's doing on fifteen. I might use a five eight thirteen on this. Yeah. I could still use five and get a slower low. Sixteen. 17, 18. It's funny with the rust on it, it kind of makes it the bottom of the mortar look like it doesn't have a button on it. And okay, such. so 20, I'm right yeah. at high. Oh, wow. Yeah, just got 22, 23, 24, 25, drawing much more current. Yeah. It's starting to creep over, so I'm gonna leave it at that. You wanna stop it by hand. Alright. So I'm not sure where Martin took off to. Probably outside playing with the sheep. <laughs> or trying to stay cook one of them. I don't know. Yeah. And now we just gotta do solid state, correct? This problem is like, you know, it's slowing down enough so that I can just do it by hand. Yeah, yeah. I also like to do it like that, and then it can like bounce, move around too much, and with it being on a hook especially, it's like, I don't want that to fall. If it was on a bone socket, it's a different story. Oh, yeah. There we go. I don't know what I mean. Yeah, like, even if it just was, like, the, even if the bottom was a bit worn out, I actually kind of like that look, especially, like, if you have it in, like, a shop environment and such. I mean, obviously, like, not overboard, but, like, just yeah. a little warm, like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, first you have to switch the, not that one, that one, you have to switch it to solid state and then start inching it up. Just start gradually going up with it. Oh, the other way. Yeah, start going. Well, I think it's hot. Keep going. I feel like the way like kind of bounce a little bit. I like the reflection with the light. Just keep going. Mm. Keep going, just a little quicker. There we go. Yeah. So it took a lot more than the um. Sometimes the it is that way. Yeah. Yeah. I know, like the M forty eight. That's kind of a pig, you know. It takes. I mean, they have pretty heavy motors to them, too. Yeah, so like... M48s. Okay, go up some more. Just kind of keep going up on that. All right. I want to see. Let's see if this is noisy or 
should be uh, fairly quiet. Yeah, that's something I know. Like the new tone pro lines seem to be put, or in the MS ones, they seem to be pretty yeah. quiet on some state controls. You just keep going. All right. You playing with the sheep? What's that? Playing with the sheep? <laughs> My secret shame. Uh, it seems quiet. We're doing solid state variable. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got a video. I mean, so I feel this like is a... what I call bedroom quiet. I can't really hear hum and buzz. Yeah, it's yeah. all the way up now. But even at medium low is where I find out if how noisy it's gonna get. Yeah. Once right. it reaches past that point of. Uh, yeah, this is dead silent. Like I no air, but it, yeah. it's almost silent. Like I remember when I tested the um, Hampton Bay SMC type industrial. Yeah. That thing, uh, that was the only one I tested on solid state before. I was like, that thing is loud, like. Yeah, all you really hear is just the air movement. You don't hear any right. noise from the motor. Right, but I usually... That one, I, you can hear... Even on the high, you can hear the hum from that one when I tested it yeah, on the solid state control. I usually control. test it at medium low. Just, that's where it's going to be the noisiest. Yeah. Before you start hearing air. Right, right. Once, that's how you know how noisy it's going to be. Kind of looks like it's like an S spinning right. in the middle. Yeah. So. Well, we can... Uh, I think... All right, we can... Uh, Okay. Turn it back, yeah, just turn it. Just turn it all the way back down. I keep forgetting the direction. <laughs> yeah. Just all the way down and then yep. flip it back to cap. Yep, now it's off. So I think, well, that is every test for this uh, Air Master. Yeah, it's definitely. Right. So this is an Air Master Automator, right? Yeah. Yeah, I just like, I feel like they're Air Master, Automator, yeah. Safer. Yep. I just call them now. Like that's like, like yeah, the ones I did of the ones at the Walgreens. So that's a pro line. Yeah, <laughs> it really is. So, I mm. mean, yeah. That's other than that. That's all there is for this uh, safer automator airmaster. And uh, I mean, it's definitely a safer. Got some thing. more fans and to test with these guys. All right. So stay tuned and keep watching and subscribing. See ya. Yep. Mm -hmm. no.